This Week. My PlayStation 5 Pro got delivered on Thursday, and I got to work right away testing some games to see if there's any noticeable difference. Now, obviously, if you're like me and you had to pay $700, you're hoping against hope that it was worth the purchase. And after checking out a handful of games, things are looking promising. Vertigo 2 now runs at a flawless 90 frames per second. Other games, though, aren't quite as noticeable. No Man's Sky, Kayak VR Mirage, and Cube VR are all touting pro updates, but you've really, really got to look for them. And you might not even notice them if no one told you they were there. But I'm just getting started, so as the testing continues, I'll keep you posted. PSVR 2 gamers are dying for more racing games, and as someone who actually owns a pretty cool racing rig thanks to you guys, it sucks that I can only use it for Gran Turismo and Galaxy Kart. Well, developer Zocus is looking to change all that with the release of Buggy Kart Racer Exo Cars, featuring single player, real time multiplayer, and asynchronous multiplayer modes. It's set to launch this week on PSVR 2, but the last we heard, they were still trying to pass QA, so if there's a slight delay on this one, don't be too surprised. step into your reflection as you master the ability to switch between your side and the reflected side of the mirror. In this strange set of corridors, the reflected world varies slightly from the normal world. Thankfully, in Corridor VR, you can possess your mirror self to navigate your way through the seemingly endless corridors and find an escape. After a two-week delay, Corridor VR is finally hitting PSVR 2 this week. It's been a little quiet on the Aces of Thunder front recently, but that's apparently all about to end. On November 7th, Gaijin Entertainment tweeted, Hold on to your HMDs, the future's about to rain down a storm of news. For the longest time, they've been saying they were aiming for a release in 2024, so could this be the release date announcement we've been waiting for? Or is it something else? Stay tuned, shouldn't be much longer now. Featuring a unique steampunk aesthetic, Firmament invites you to explore the legendary deep world building Cyan Worlds is known for. Firmament's a fantastic visual feast with thrilling new sights to see around every corner, but at the same time, the world feels completely plausible, as though it was constructed with a bigger purpose in mind. A purpose you'll be compelled to discover as you play. After going a little silent on the port, Cyan Worlds announced this week that the PlayStation VR 2 version of Firmament is in development and is slated for a Q1 release next year. Welcome to the most authentic VR boxing experience ever created. VRSO Bare Knuckle Fighting has been in development for years. In fact, it was supposed to come out around this time last year. But the developers over at Monologic Games are doing everything they can to release an awesome game, including delaying the release for as long as it takes. And this week, VRSO got a name change to Boxing Underdog, a change that's supposed to reflect the boxing sim aspect that the developers are going for. And they also released this new trailer. So all that's left now is to wait and see if they make the April 2025 release window that's listed on the PlayStation Store. Stunning and knockdowns, all driven by pure physics, without a single animation in multiplayer. Your technique making the difference over fast controller swinging. This shouldn't come as a huge surprise to anyone, but this week we get the official word that Zombie Army VR has been delayed into 2025. Things haven't been looking great for XR Games with their recent quest board of Hitman 3 and then massively restructuring in early October, so we weren't certain if they'd even have the staff to keep working on Zombie Army VR properly. But it's good to see that they're prioritizing the quality of the game above everything else, so we hope that this long journey pays off for them, eventually.
The developers over at VR Monkey continue to impress us with their support of Galaxy Card. And this week's update brought with it a new character to play as, a new training mode where you can practice using power ups and drifting around tight turns. And best of all, it now supports cross play across PSVR 2, Steam, and Quest. What is that place? I know it's an announcement of an announcement, but Nkubo announced this week that they'll be revealing the release date of the Green Hell co-op update in the next few weeks. You have lost eleven. You have failed your friends. Experience the world of Stranger Things from the never before seen of perspective of Vecna as he explores unknown realities, forms the hive mind, and enacts his plan for revenge against Eleven and Hawkins. Crush and throw your opponents using telekinesis and relive memories from Henry's time at Hawkins' lab as you explore an otherworldly, interconnected hive mind. Listen, we never had an amazing version of Doom 3 on PSVR, but the one we got was pretty cool, and the aim support negated all the complaints that we might have had. Doom 3 is a timeless classic, and yeah, I know, it was a departure for the Doom series, but as a horror fan, it was one I truly appreciated. With Bethesda now being owned by Microsoft, is a PSVR 2 port even a possibility? Well, that might be a question that only flat to VR studios can answer. Every week, our good friend Professor Lilith organizes a multiplayer meetup over on our Discord. It happens every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern, and this week we'll be playing 8 player walkabout mini golf. If you can't make this week's meetup, don't worry, it happens every Sunday at the same time. So make sure you click the link in the description below. Come join our Discord. This week 